Okay, everyone, I need to talk about something. In the regional center, I mean, the tragedy that happened there, it sucks, it really does. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm actually talking about why they are horrible. I one time went into a Inland Regional Center building, it not the, over in San Bernardino, but somewhere out here in my area, and um, they're terrible. You see a bunch of, like, fucking retarded people all, like, putting together, like, cats, you know, the brand cats. They're the people who do, like, knockoff controllers for, like, Nintendo or whatever. They're basically, they do, like, controllers and game accessory stuff, but, you know, they're, like, knockoff stuff. But I saw a bunch of, like, retarded people doing stuff. I'm like, I don't want to fucking do this. I'm way more intelligent than them. And here's the problem with them. They say, oh, well, we give jobs. We give... But here's the bullshit part. They underpay you so you can keep your Social Security. Why don't they just pay you more and let you have Social Security? I mean, Social Security really is a joke. I live off Social Security and I only get six fifty a month. That's like, how the fuck can anyone live on six fifty a month? The government should give you 1200 at least. You know how expensive it is to find an apartment? They treat us like fucking animals. And here's the other thing. Uh, The Department of Rehab in Ontario, they're all a bunch of fucking idiots too. One of my closest friends actually uh, signed up with them. And they had a counselor. And I had a counselor too. He wasn't very good. I didn't like him that much. He wasn't... He was a nice guy, but I don't think he understood me. And he bothered me a lot. And I just... I I don't think he got me. So I, I... stopped and they gave me a new counselor and I said no uh, delete my account delete everything I don't care I'm not doing this and guess what I waited like a few months I did the whole and they made me do this whole process and it was so bullshit they made me do this whole evaluation to get a job and they go oh it's a personality test first of all those tests are fucking stupid and pointless why do I have to give you a, a, a seminar of like 60 fucking questions and fill it all out. Like seeing those dating websites. That doesn't justify who the fuck you are. Who the fuck is the asshole who thought that was a good idea to use that for people to find jobs? You're a fucking imbecile. Seriously, whoever invented that little questionnaire thing for you to get a job is a fucking idiot. Is a fucking bitch. Cocksucker. I mean, I'm like Lewis Black. I'm pretty hostile. But, nah, it's bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Here's the other problem, too. Here's the other thing. What I hate about that place in Ontario. They suck. Here's another reason why they suck. Because then they said, oh, okay, well, we noticed that you're too intelligent for this test. And they were telling me it takes like a week. It's like, I'm not going to waste my fucking time here. Just give me a fucking job. Like, seriously, I already told you the things that I'm good at and what I do. Just give me a fucking job. Like, seriously, Trump doesn't do shit and he's a fucking president. It's such bullshit, man. Fuck you people. That's why I decided to just say fuck it and just continue with web design. I continue blocking about my rants and hating America and calling us a bunch of fucking degenerate cunt suckers and talk about how Donald Trump's a piece of shit and how I rant and rave on my block TV blog and I go after scammers and I put them on my website and call them asshole cunts. So, you know what? Fuck all of you too. But it's bullshit. Because they get, didn't give me a fucking job. And my best friend got a job with him. And guess what? Nothing. Nothing. They didn't even give him a job. And it's been like six months. And they still haven't found him a job. And they said, oh, this is the timeline between. It's like, they don't give a fuck. They work for the government. The government, all they like to do is screw you over and fuck you over for no fucking reason. That's it. And here's the thing that's interesting. The government wants to get you off Social Security. They they want to save money. So they're, they told me, this is what they told me. They told me they could find me a job between 15 and 20 an hour. But they went back on it, whatever they said. Then they were telling me, oh, well, my counselor was telling me, oh, well, that depends on how good you are, what you do. Like, 
you know, if you do these jobs, then they pay over $15 an hour, but these jobs, they pay way less. But considering your intelligence and whatnot, you could easily have a job more than 15 an hour. That's what he said, which I'm thinking, that's fucking great. Because I kept telling him over and over, I want a desk job because I have a bad back. I can't bend over because it hurts like hell. And I have a really bad back and I want a desk job. I'm good at a desk job. I'm good at taking my fucking time. I'm not those, I'm not, I'm very agitated and get very irritable when people rush me. That's why I didn't do good at a grocery store because people rushed me. They kept pushing me and I snapped and told everyone to go fuck yourselves. And then I flipped everyone off and I walked out and I said, go fuck yourselves. And I walked out and then the next day everyone gave me dirty looks. I told them all to go, go to hell. So which is weird, because if you're an atheist, you don't really want to tell people to go to hell, because, you know, you don't believe in it, but you figure they do, so it's like, go fuck, you know. Anyway, I went ahead and told them all to go fuck themselves, and I got my fucking checks, and I fucking cashed that shit. Yeah, and that was when I was making 75 an hour. Yeah. Do you know why we have minimum wage in this country? Because if a company wanted... For you to work any less, they would. They make you work at a dollar an hour. Like in Napoleon Dynamite. Eight dollars. That's a dollar an hour. And he paid them in fucking quarters. <laughs> no, or pennies, which would be worse. So. Anyway. I'm going to stick to websites. I'm going to stick to music and, and making creative videos for a living. Because you know what? That's where I'm good at. You know, it's slow. You're right. But nobody get, gets famous overnight. I mean, look how long it took Michael Jackson. He had to be abused by his stupid father and dumbass cunt mother. And look at where he ended up. Yeah. He was a great artist, but now he's fucking dead. <laughs> All your great artists have done drugs. It's like, unless you're doing drugs, having countless sex with random people, and you're a dickhead to society, then yeah, there you go. Oh, by the way, that British girl, that homeschool girl, she's kind of mean. The one who plays Eleven, that British girl. I don't know, what's her deal? Like, uh, she was at the Calvin Klein thing, fashion show, which I don't get. And everyone's, like, talking to her, and she just ran in the car. I felt kind of bad for her, too, because she was a little scared. But, I mean, when you're a famous actor, don't they tell you about social norms? Like, you should just wave and just wave to people and just, like, smile and give a thumbs up or something. Like, don't just fucking run. You're at a fashion show. It's a public event. It's a public entity. You're going to get pictures of you, you know? So, anyway, that's my uh, thought analysis. I know no one will give a fuck if I post this on YouTube like the rest of you cunts. Um, but, you know, I figure one day, you know, when I die and in the next, like, 50 fucking years, I don't even know. I'm fat as fuck. Who knows? But, no, seriously, if someone, like, if this gets popped or whatever and I go, at least, you know, at least I have someone to remember me by. You know, like all my haters, all my trolls. They can act like dumb idiots and be like, oh, yeah, flipping you off from the grave, asshole. So you never know. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to continue smoking this cigar. And you all can go fuck yourselves and suck my fucking dick. <laughs>